Hey, it's Lit Levon and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about what I'm doing to prepare for a polycon. I know it seems like it's still so far away. It's a little over six months away, but it'll be here before we know it. So I just wanted to do a little monthly update thing where I talk about what I'm doing or what I have done to prepare for the event. Right away, as soon as I knew that I was going, I purchased the hotel ticket, so that has been set. But I recently, as in just two days ago, found a round trip plane ticket for $200. $100 there, $100 back. OMG, that's amazing. So I just wanna tell you a tip if you didn't know. Um, when you are searching for plane tickets, if you keep opening the same browser and checking day after day again and again, you're going to start to see more expensive prices. So what you want to do, for example, I use Google Chrome. You want to go to the Google Chrome's private web browser to search for plane ticket prices. And that way, every time you search, it's thinking that this is your first time and you're going to see the cheapest prices possible. So that's what I did. And then of course, once you're in that private browser and for example, like I'm flying Southwest, when you find those prices, you can just sign in with your login information and go ahead and purchase it as you normally would. Um, but it's just better to check under the private browser. So I was so excited. Now that I have my hotel and my plane tickets, it's like, okay, I'm really going. <laughs> I just like, I'm, I can't believe, I still can't believe that this is happening. So I was like, that. <laughs> Being the eldest daughter, of course, that means I'm the family vacation planner and I love it. Um, but <laughs> I have been the person that's known to meticulously plan down to the minute. And I've learned since then that it honestly just makes your trip more stressful. I've weaned myself off of planning down to the minute, but I do still meticulously research. So what have I been doing? I have been watching a Polycon vlogs. I think I'll leave a few linked down below, the ones that I've really enjoyed. And I've been looking on TikTok and Google and YouTube for different bookstores and places to eat in Washington, DC. If you didn't know, a Polycon is in Washington, DC in 2024. Um, and I've never been there. And I'm so so excited to go and see a new place. Um, I often travel to Orlando, to Nashville, to Texas. So Washington DC is going to be a whole brand new like vibe for me and I'm very excited. Uh, so I have been researching in those ways just for like fun things to do as well as like what to expect at the event and how things go um, you know to try to see like timing wise how can how many things can I expect to do in a day stuff like that. I've also been trying to gather my list of authors that I want to get books signed by. So there are some authors that I already know and love like Juliet Cross and Cleo Evans, they're going to be there. Of course, like I'm going to be the first one in line for them. I need, I need, I need to get their signatures. I need to meet them. I need to tell them how much their books have changed my life. Um, but on the other hand, there are like so many authors going. So I've been trying to pull a few authors every week and try a book from there, especially after Stuff Your Kindle Day. I was able to get like I want to say at least 14 books from a polycon authors if not more than that so that's been really fun getting to try these new to me authors and being able to see like okay now, now what do i need to read from them what do i want to get signed and things like that i have made an excel sheet i think i'm gonna be one of those polycon people but it's just that there's so many things going on there's gonna be so many different authors doing pre-orders and am i gonna bring a book or am i gonna get the book there or am i gonna buy the book there i do like like I just there's so much stuff going on and I just don't want to miss an opportunity. So I did make a spreadsheet. <laughs> what do you expect from me? I'm an eldest daughter, dang it. I'm gonna use that excuse. And if this is the first video that you're watching from me, you may not know that I am an Apolycon influencer for the 2024 event. Still can't believe that that's happening. Still feeling ridiculously wildly honored that I was chosen. Um, but because of that, I have been practicing my public speaking skills. Now I'm still saying, um, 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 <laughs> but I am getting better at acknowledging it. And I've definitely noticed, um, 
see I did it right there <laughs> I'm definitely noticing that it's being it's getting easier for me to give more concise answers and not make my answers so wide and drawn out and I'm chasing a rabbit here chasing a rabbit there so I am proud of myself um, and so my point was is that I've been making public speaking practice videos and then posting them to YouTube to keep myself accountable. And I haven't edited any of the videos so I can, again, keep myself accountable about how many times I say um and things like that. Uh, but I really do feel like I am getting better even though I just said uh again. See, like, <laughs> but at least, again, at least I'm acknowledging it. So those are things that I'm currently doing for preparation for Polycon 2024. I need to know, are you going? Like, let me know, because it would be so cool to meet you. And also, if you're going, are you doing anything to prepare? Or am I just being absolutely ridiculous by prepping this early? Please let me know, like, what is your schedule? What's your vibe? What do you usually do? And I can't wait to see you again in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.